Hi, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today's two-word horror story is... Vibe Nuclear. Yeah, really. The AI industry is desperate for power generation anywhere. It can get it. They can't get gas turbines without years of delay. Even the repurposed jet engine gas turbines they were really hoping would save them now have a waiting list that's years long as well. So the tech bros and the venture capitalist bros want nuclear. And they want it right now. There's a new paper from the AI Now Institute. Fission for Algorithms. The Undermining of Nuclear Regulation in Service of AI. It's about all the ways the AI bros want to cut corners to get their power plant tomorrow, mummy. The authors of the AI Now report are all for nuclear. They're not anti-nuclear activists, but they want it done properly. You can't skip that bit. A new reactor can take 10 years. This is lots of paperwork going back and forth to the regulator. It turns out even if you think nuclear is a better idea than fossil fuel, the public demands stringent safety. Nuclear licensing keeps things safe. But companies like Microsoft are complaining. It takes years. It costs money. So here's Microsoft's solution in a presentation to the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission last year. Quote, Accelerate the industry by applying generative AI to greatly reduce the cost and time to license projects. We are creating a Gen AI for Nuclear Licensing Solution Accelerator, trained on historic NRC licensing data to increase the productivity of creating permits. Unquote. Let's fill in the paperwork with AI slop. It's not like the details matter, right? It's not like mistakes are safety critical, right? But the Trump administration is very gung-ho about fast nuclear specifically for AI. The administration wants to uh, reform the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. They also want to loosen radiation safety standards, get rid of the linear no-threshold model that there is no safe level of radiation, which is only supported internationally by experts. Idaho National Laboratory is already bragging about using Microsoft's nuclear AI to do paperwork fast. Westinghouse is bragging its Bertha nuclear AI can take paperwork times, quote, from months to minutes, unquote. Yeah, thankfully, neither of these have produced an actual reactor proposal yet. Heidi Clough from AI Now told 404 Media, quote, Nuclear licensing is a process. It's not a set of documents, which I think is the first flag in seeing proposals by Microsoft. They don't understand what it means to have nuclear licensing, unquote. But you know these are AI bros who think anything hampering their captain of industry, great thoughts, is a status jackboot on their necks. One of the other important things about the regulation process, it makes sure local activists are involved. You can't skip that step either, because they're good at making trouble. If you run roughshod over the locals for the sake of your AI, you've already got people in the streets protesting AI. The government will almost certainly try to just bypass the activists, but that hasn't gone well for them in every other area so far. And remember, anti-nuclear activists have decades of experience at this, so I'm sure it'll go great all round. This isn't just happening in the US, by the way. The UK is planning nuclear reactors for AI as well. It's an explicit part of the AI Opportunities Action Plan. The Office for Nuclear Regulation was granted £260,000 in September to, quote, support the safe and secure deployment of artificial intelligence in nuclear installations, unquote. 
Peter Kyle, the Secretary of State for ChatGPT, said, quote, This isn't about cutting safety corners, unquote, which means it's about cutting safety corners. If the AI bros get these things built before the bubble pops, we should expect bad designs, not allowing for local conditions, setting up the reactor operators for ridiculous mistakes, and lots of nuclear accidents. Hopefully not very big ones. Cross fingers. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Don't forget, send this episode to just one other person who'd react to the phrase Vibe Nuclear, the same way you did. Hit like and subscribe on YouTube, leave a nice podcast review, and especially, don't forget to drop your $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes. This lets us keep doing Pivot to AI. Your support is vital. Thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow, and bye for now.